Hi, since we left off I have traced the roof CAD reference drawing and generated walls and columns as well as the roof to the staircase. I have also cut the voids into the slab and modelled the majority of the skylights, landscaping elements, some of the fixed furniture as well as the roof drainage. Each new kind of item has been assigned a unique layer, so for example the roof drains have been assigned to the roof drain layer. The next thing that I did was to group all of these items and assign it to the roof level layer. So I can, like I did for the ground floor on the first floor, I can turn it on or off uh, if I go onto the correct layer. Also remember that you need to go into the slab and assign it to 21 roof. I also did this to the roof above the staircase. And this means that when you go into the roof off layer, you will, Pluspec has recognised uh, these slabs to be roofs. The power of freeform modelling with SketchUp is indescribable. You can easily model unique forms of any level of complexity. The problem with the majority of other BIM software is that you are confined by parametric modelling. Pluspec utilises the SketchUp environment, so combined you have the best of BIM and parametric modelling and freeform modelling. Your imagination is truly your only limitation. To model the landscaping elements is simple. Reference one of the other walls and this means that when you go in into the wall tool again it's going to pick up all of that BIM information so for example the wall height etc so you don't have to retype it and now just trace. Then using the rectangle tool draw the landscaping. Group it and then assign it to that layer then push and pull it to the slab. Using the bucket tool reference this texture and then paint it on. The skylights were also very easy to freeform model. Just going to use a guide and then use the line tool. See the purple line? That means that you are staying parallel. Group it, push and pull it, use the bucket tool and reference the glazing. Now I can delete the guide. The final element to the skylight is the flashing or the sealant, but I'm just going to represent it with a simple shape. So I'll just draw it now. Once you've drawn your shape, draw the outline and then use the SketchUp tool called Follow Me. It's a remarkable little tool and trace what the outline that you just drew. With this tool you can create some really complex shapes. finally group these two elements together and then assign them to the skylight layer.